This tutorial will demonstrate application limiting, a feature which allows a teacher to specify which applications may or may not be run on student computers being managed by LandSchool. Application limiting can be applied to one or more student computers by selecting the thumbnails from the console and selecting the Limit Apps button from the toolbar. If no thumbnails are selected, application limiting will be applied to all student computers. When application limiting is enabled, you will see a Limit Apps icon displayed over top of the student thumbnail. There are two different types of application limiting offered by LandSchool. The teacher can choose to block all applications except for those specified in an Allow list, or they can allow all applications except for those specified in a block list. To define these lists of specific applications that can or cannot be accessed, select the drop-down arrow to the right of the Limit Apps button and select Configure Application Limiting. If you want to limit all applications except for just a few, you can enter the names of the application executables you want to allow in the Allowed Applications section. Enter names like notepad.exe to allow Notepad and mspaint.exe to allow Microsoft Paint. If you don't know the name of the executable, simply run the application on the teacher computer and then click the Add button. A list will appear with all application executables that are currently running on the teacher computer. Select the one you want to add to the list and click the Add button. When application limiting is enabled, and a student starts an application not included on the allowed applications list, the application will immediately close and a pop-up message will inform the student that the application has been blocked. If you want to allow all applications except for just a few, you can enter the name of the application executables you want to block in the Blocked Applications section. You can enter names here like calc.exe to block calculator. You can save both the allowed and blocked applications list so that they can quickly be loaded again when you need them later. For example, you could create an allowed list for the Microsoft Office suite of applications, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, save that list to a location on your computer, and then load that list again later. There's another method to quickly add applications to either the allowed or the blocked applications lists. To view a list of all running applications on a single student computer, right-click on that student's thumbnail in the teacher console and select View Students Running Programs from the menu. From here, you can see a list of all the active application executables that are running on the student computer. Simply select an application and add it to the list of allowed applications or to the list of blocked applications. Selecting the Block Now button will immediately close the application on the student computer, but will not add it to either list. To stop limiting which applications students may or may not use, simply click the Limit Apps button in the toolbar again to toggle this feature off. This concludes the tutorial on limiting applications on student computers. Find more tutorials like this and other methods of support by visiting our website at www.landschool.com.